Hi, my name is Cameron and I'm from Wonderwall and today I'm going to show you how to set up your North Stone Wonderwall home. When you first move into the property you may notice that you've got a Wonderwall light switch on your wall as well as a Wonderwall thermostat. There'll be a second thermostat upstairs as well as an alarm siren and some key fobs. To set up your Wonderwall light switch, first and foremost you'll need to have your Wi-Fi ready to use and secondly you'll need to download the Wonderwall app. Once you've downloaded the Wonderwall app you need to log in using Amazon and then press the configure your own home button. Once you've done this and gone through the privacy policy, the house will tell you that you're about to start setting up the primary light switch. To do this, firstly, you'll need to remove the front cover of the device. There are two ways you can do this. Firstly, you can place your palm on the cover, pull from the side, and it'll pop off like that. Now, they are quite tough, so don't worry about breaking it, but often they can be on quite tight. So the second way to do it would be to use a card. To use a card, simply push the cover up, place the card into the side of the device, push down, and it'll pop the cover off. Now, all the instructions are in the app, so just press start when you're ready to go. Firstly, it will remind, tell you to locate the fun functional button. So the functional button is just here. Press next. It'll then tell you to use a pin, press and hold the functional button for 10 seconds, until the LEDs start flashing. Once this is done, press next, and your phone will search for the device. Now, if you're using an iPhone, it will ask you to navigate to your Wi-Fi settings, so just follow the instructions on the screen. What you need to do then is you need to join the Wi-Fi that's been emitted by the Wonderwall light switch. Once this is done, it will scan for local Wi-Fi networks. You'll press your home network, I've copied and pasted the password for this, so I've pasted that in there, pressed access, and then it will ask you to go back onto your home Wi-Fi. Once this is done, the light switch will restart and the pattern on the light switch will change. After a few seconds, the app will ask you to set up your home. Just press specify, and what this will do is it will drop a pin using your location Specify the house location. This is just for weather data. It will also ask you for your house type, so you can change it to detached, semi-detached, whatever needs to be done. Press next. It will ask you to name the house. Then it will ask you to set up the device. So the first thing it will ask is for the location. This is what's used for Alexa. This one here was controlling the hallway light, so I will change it to hallway. Press select. It will then ask you to name the device. And lastly, it will ask you to configure the connected lights. So when you first use your Wonderwall light switch, you may notice that some of the buttons don't do anything. This is because the outputs aren't, to those buttons aren't physically connected to any lights. So what you need to do here is use this setting to configure out those redundant buttons. So this one here, the, the left and right one, so the left and right one controlled different lights. So I would use the double setting. Alternatively, if it was just one, you can use the single right or single left. Uh, and if all three buttons control the light, you'd select all connected. Once this is done, it says success, you finish, and you're into the Wonderwall app. Now, what might happen here is that your brand new Wonderwall light switch will probably perform a software update. This will take a couple of minutes, so just let it do what it needs to do, and it will beep to let you know that it's finished, and then you can continue with pairing your other devices.